elevator. Okay. So you just got the uh, you just got the uh, turn points for this particular day. Right. So and the nominal task distance, if we went to the center of every area, is 150 miles. Okay. Right. But the task time, the minimum time on task, is only two hours. So that'd be 75 miles an hour. So on a good day in Florida, we do 75 miles an hour. But okay. Not today. Okay. So that means we're not going to go to the center of all of these circles. We'll be looking at the terrain and the lakes and wind shadows and things like that and, and adjusting the course okay. as necessary to try and keep the time on course a little over two hours. Okay. So I'll have to get a map because I don't know where the first two turn points are exactly. And you have a sectional, paper sectional in I the... do have a paper sectional, an old fashioned. I, I was looking for my, my uh, Jacksonville sectional and I couldn't find it yeah. in the... If you like, I'll go get it. Yes. So we were... We okay. were so, so far we've got head down probably to the uh, uh, northwestern side of the cylinder around 26 and then head over to Gore following whatever lift lines we can find in the blue which are going to be oriented somewhere around here to here like this okay so we'll go until we have that cylinder again we're not going to go to the center we'll pass even to the center of all the cylinders because of the limited time for the task right so we go to Gore then we get to follow route 27 and again you see all the development along 27 yes yes right? yes we're going to grassroots, which is up over, let's see, where this is, uh, 18 is uh, right here. So grassroots is a beautiful little private strip um, with a house hangar, uh, private, uh, private uh, homes and hangars uh, along the side of it. Just a gorgeous, gorgeous place. And the problem with the route to grassroots is that um, as you get north here, you get into the area of uh, Lake Louisa, and I... Um, um, we, uh, Apopka isn't going to be a factor today, but there's there quite a quite a bit of lake there. So um, a couple days ago, a bunch of guys tried to follow the course line to uh, another turn and put them like this, and they they had a very very tough time because they just ran into an area where there's no lift. And I cut hard west here and then north and had a much much faster run. So we'll we'll be watching uh, watching that. We will not be um, going over the lakes. Um, okay. Fernando has this theory that the uh, the lake um, itself is the the edge can be a trigger, and for the wind conditions we have today, that, that may work. But I wouldn't count on it. So you think uh, knowledge of local conditions? I mean, most of the people here that do well, they've flown it many many times, and knowing the terrain and that kind of stuff. It's almost like flying in the mountains. You kind of get um, to know what areas work? There's a little bit of local knowledge. It's much less technical here than flying in the mountains. Okay. So it helps to know it helps to know some of this stuff. I mean the guys that do well here, like Rich Owen flies here. Right, he's, right. He's a very, right. very good pilot in any in any place. Um okay, so we go to grassroots, which is over here, and the next turn point is Flanders, which is down south of the airport. So basically they're just running us back and forth in the near the airport, we're not going very far. Here's uh, Seminole, so we go from Grassroots down to Flanders. 13, yeah, Flanders is right here. And then um, over to Green Swamp um, and home. Now the leg to Green Swamp, the only reason they do that is to just tack on a little bit of extra distance, but we're not gonna go all the way to Green Swamp. Um, we'll, uh, we'll see, these cylinders probably all overlap. They're pretty, pretty small cylinders, so. Flanders is only a three-mile cylinder, so we're going to have to go pretty much right to Flanders. Green Swamp is a surprisingly small cylinder. They only put in five miles, but I think three miles and five miles here, they almost over, the two cylinders almost overlap. So we'll have to go a little bit west of Flanders to nick this thing and then, and then come on home. Okay. Is there a finished gate somewhere? We have a finished cylinder. Finished cylinder. So okay. we have to be over 900 feet um, at one mile out. Okay. And... Because I'm a very uh, wimpish pilot, you'll see I'll take a fair bit of extra altitude and we'll end up coming in with quite a lot of energy at 900 feet, which gives us plenty of time as what happened yesterday where we had two gliders stop on the runway and four gliders in the pattern or five I saw gliders that. in the yeah. pattern. And so with plenty of energy, I can just kind of hang out and wait for things to Very good. Sa down. Better safe than sorry. Um, yeah. So. Yeah, Knute, Knute um, years ago... I got down to about 600 feet up near the turnpike, just straight north of here. Mm -hmm. He says, why do you want to do that in your collider? Why do you want... And I was above 
a, a five acre clearing. This there, was a, a number of places, to, good places to land right near there. And there's also yeah. airports. Um, but I, I was in some it. tough shape and I almost had to put it down in a, in somebody's backyard essentially. And he asked me why I did that. <laughs> well, we try, try to avoid these things. Yes. So I will, I will typically, I'm, I'm uh, this is a big heavy plane and on real weekdays, uh, like yesterday, they, some of the guys that did real well, we saw them down at a thousand feet repeatedly. We're just not going to ah. do that in this plane. Okay. It's a motor glider. Okay. And that means your decision altitude is much higher than a pure glider. Okay. So, uh, you know, I want to have 1,200 feet or something like that in the pattern. Okay. Everything's set to land. Landing is plan A. Okay. If the motor starts, fabulous. Okay. But if the motor doesn't start, you're coming down at 500 foot a minute. Wow. And, With um, Because of the drag of the thing out there in the breeze. Right. So, so uh, you're you're not going to be screwing around with this thing at low altitude. Okay. Not not if you want to. Uh, and uh, how how many motor starts have you had on this one? On this aircraft, um, air starts. You mean? Yeah. yeah. Um, as opposed to self launch, um, probably eight or ten. Okay. Something like that. Uh, maybe more than that. Maybe fifteen. And how long have you had the Arcus? Um, this, is a, this is just the beginning of my third season with this plane. Okay. Okay, this great. This is my third motor glider. The Antares is... A, is Still have the Antares, yes, yeah. yeah. The Antares has a much lower decision altitude because it's much, much lower drag. Okay. And in addition to that, there's nothing to do in the cockpit. There's just one handle, so you push it forward, and if it works, great. And if it doesn't, there's this one, there's a little more potential screwing around. Right. Um, they haven't quite got it to the... And what is the engine in this one? This is uh, this thing is powerful. It's got about seventy horsepower. It's a, a solo, okay, um, two-stroke, water-cooled, dual ignition, fuel injected. It's not complete FADEC. The throttle is mechanical, but uh, okay. control of the injectors and the ignition is computerized. Okay. So starting is phenomenally easy compared to like I had a gas-powered machine way back and. You had to dink around with the primer and the throttle and jockey wow. everything, and sometimes it would start right up, and sometimes it put up a pretty good fight. So this, none of that, but it's still not one handle, which is really what you want. Yeah, very good. Thank you. Thank you. Beautiful. All right. Let's go. That's good. It's, you really, really want to be real strong. Okay, that's pretty strong. Because what's going to happen is you're going to move around a little bit more stuff. Okay. You might want to last. Moving, I thought you no, something. we need we need uh, to concentrate, please. I got it. Thanks. Okay. Please. Good luck, guys. 
Thanks, see you later. Okay, are you good and tight back there? I am. Jonah, could you help me here? Yeah. On the side of the camera, there's a switch on the down, the bottom side. If you could slide that towards forward. Yeah. Is that good? That's good. Thank you. Thank you, Oscar. Where do you go? There we go. Down on the side. There we go. Thank you. Okay. Gaggle for us. Looking.
We'll take it. Yeah, not bad. Right off too. slightly coordinated, but most important is to fly and lift, and the coordination is somewhere down the list. The Austrian train looks good to me. And yeah, we gained 600 feet already. how tight the circles are. Yeah, I'm, I could circle a bit tighter, but... South, 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 Pretty hard inversion layer at, uh, we're I, coming up on 3,000. Look at the haze yeah, layer. Yeah, I see it, yeah. Well, maybe there'll be some pop-throughs, like he said, in the briefing. Yeah, well... Weather models are wonderful. Reality is a whole other story. You know, I, I usually find that we do get, at least in South Florida, we get them. But it's pretty solid. It, you know, I see the haze line, so. Of course, I managed to fly out of the core a little bit. A little less than three knots here. If I would center it better, we could get a little better here. Let's see if I can. Where's the core? Broad area of lift. Yeah. There's the core. There we go. Happy to have two knots for a while. <laughs> I'm always happy to have, I'd rather have two knots up than two knots down. If you look to our uh, north, you can see there are some wave bars in the upper atmosphere, which Carl was poo pooing earlier, but you can see them up there. Yeah, I do, I There's definitely only do. Only a couple of gliders higher. Yeah. I saw the other two, so we got a ways to go. Looks like they'll get maybe at 3500. You have a, a watch that works. I do. Atomic time. Radio. Uh, radio okay, control. So what time is it now? 14:06 and nine and ten seconds. Okay. So periodically, I'm going to ask you how many minutes to start. Okay. I'll be happy to tell you. And my my watch is very accurate. Certain, that's pretty good. 258, that's pretty much what we expected. Yeah.
Still climbing over there. 1.6 knots. Well, that's a dubious business, but we'll stick with it. Yeah. Actually, if you look at the SN10, it's about seven miles north of us. So they're closer to the start, or does that matter? I'm sorry, I don't know. Uh, it doesn't. It's a funny business. We want to basically start on the upwind side, which will be on the left. Okay. And um, if you look at the circle here. You see, we're we want to start over there somewhere. Okay. Someone coming in close left, though. A little above us. because you're doing all the work. I just get to sit back and enjoy the view.
heard from anybody. I lost my radio for a while. Is the task open or not? The task is not open yet. Stand by. Task will open at 1420-1420. Six and a half minutes from now. Thank you. about done. Let's try moving a bit north and west. See if we can find. Okay. There's two at dead ahead now, off in the distance. Two is a whole goggle. Oh, yes, I see. Okay, I was just seeing the higher guys. Uh, almost 90 degrees to the course that we're tracking and following nice bubbles. seen one in person before. It's a nice flying glider. Looks like two minutes and thirty seconds now. strip down there but it's too narrow. I don't know if it's actually a strip or not. Uh, it does look like an airstrip. Anyway, there's a good field right next to it. Is 
that's the great thing about this area. There's so many options for landing. Except where we're going. Oh, Green Swamp? Yeah. And I guess down near Winter Haven or Lake Wales or whatever. Uh, well, there you got the lots of big, lots of big airports, so. Yeah. joining us. Okay. That's the Ventus? The the uh, Wanda. The Wong Zulu 8. Um Q Papa, I should remember this, I'm sorry. I'm not sure. Okay. So the climb rate went from three knots at 3,000 down to 2.3, 2.5.
bumping up the, against the top of it again. Yeah. Are you guys from somewhere else pulled right above us or no? Um, I don't see anybody down there. Let's see. Yeah, there's some people up higher. up there? Uh, 11 o'clock or where? No, I don't see them. Thermal, holy cow. Yeah. It's not a lot of time. And plus, and three of 3,700. There you go. circle like this. So the climb rate goes way down. They circle bigger than you? They just waffle about and yeah. do all kind of strange stuff. Very good. So 
so much for the 3,800 foot ceiling. Yeah. Worth the task sheet, I've lost the task sheet. What's the start altitude? Um, start out the top, possibly, if the state keeps going. Um, it's gone. I have 100 pieces of paper here, and the goddamn task sheet is like probably under my seat. Here it is. Okay, 1.5. Start height is 4,500. We're going to start out the top if we can stay with this, baby. Okay. Gyrating around, I managed to fly us out of the core. Let's try it here a little bit. Zero point zero knots. Come on, through the core. See further northeast. Sorry? It seems further northeast. Guy circling. Let's move up wind towards him. Oh, down to 4,200 feet. We're up to 44 briefly. So I made a nice turn and sink. Fly to the top of this guy and see if this thing is continuing on up. Otherwise, we gotta go. circling below us to the right. What the hell's wrong with him?
like it's better, you know, this is more core, but I'm not managing to stay in it. after open I have to say I don't really know the understand the contest rules very well or if at all I should say whenever we can climb straight ahead we will do so. yes good idea I've on the SN10 moved the target over towards the uh, edge of the first circle um, towards us. Come on. So what I don't want to do is go go over those those damn lakes over there. So by turning a little sooner, we can avoid that.
following a lift line in the blue, the crosswind here, but it's okay, whatever it is. I've seen a couple of other gliders started to our left. You see them? Uh, looking. You gotta hold your eyes still, and then occasionally you're gonna catch a little motion or a wing flash. At our. Over here. Okay. I was looking further left. One right there. See the white. Uh, I'm getting. I'm looking through the vent window. That's the problem right there. Oh, okay. There's a there's a couple of gliders over there and over there. I'm watching for them now. They're not close, but they're heading on course. Okay. Guy off to the right, lower, circling. Oh, thank you. That's Bravo Zulu. What has he got? Three knots. Two knots. In any case, it's an area of buoyant air, so. Yeah. Two guys. Yep. And someone higher up, straight ahead, too. Two of them. Oh, yeah, two high up there. Yeah. Uh, three. Four. Yeah, there's a whole gaggle out there. before. Are. They're all kind of just floating about. The gaggle straight ahead of us is doing better. You see it? Uh, uh, I see one, the other higher. Well, but I only see one glider. Over these fields, probably more lift everywhere. private grass strip down here somewhere. Right around here, probably directly over it. Uh, it should be right down to our left here. Oh, I don't see it anyway, 
It's on the moving map if you look, but. Um, I am. I see it's BUR 2270. Yep. That's a uh, burnt wood. It's okay. like right under us. Um, I, I, I couldn't pick it out. When we start circling, it'll be easy to see. Grass strip running like this. Like there was, it was, I don't know, there looked, well, I saw something look like a hanger, so. Yeah, that's not it. It's actually a different field, but I'll pick it out in a second, sorry. next to it. See the pond? Yeah. Right on the other side of the pond. There's a strip like this. That's perfectly. See it now? Yep. Oh, buzzards. Buzzards. Left turns, guys. That's better, huh? That's more like a thermal. Yeah. Four Five now. point six. Five, okay. See the formation of um, the white birds down there? I'm not sure what those are. Storks? No, they're too small for that. Uh -huh. Anyway, the buzzards are right below us, so, so we're in the best spot. Oh, and two birds. Uh, oh, these two hawks are having a little, uh, little dispute. You see that? No, I didn't. They're a little bit to our west. You'll see them when we come around. They're squabbling. Five point four. Okay, so now you can see Birdwood strip a little bit better. Yep.
so the thing is going to die in the next turn if it, if it uh, holds form like the previous normals, right? See, we're smashing into the inversion layer here. Yep. And he's pushing over. I'm going to move out a little bit to his right so we don't get tangled up. What was the thermal average here? 3.9 for that thermal. I'm not sure I'm going to count on that today. Let's let's dial it up to uh, 2.4. And then if I do 2.4 for the AAT task, it says it'll take us 2.10 to finish it as programmed. We have an hour 46 remaining on the clock. What is this weird lift, huh? There's a lot of, I mean, you know, it's that time of day, three o'clock right now, and uh, a lot of short grass, solid fields, clear skies, big, big dome of uh, warm air, with occasional bubbles. Some people out there, I see a gaggle off to our right, see that? I'm just going to move over so I'm not directly under Wilford in case he decides to stop goofing off and put the nose down. Kilo 2 is the low one on your right. Kilo 2. It starts to get kind of look at the look at the country down here, right? Yeah. So see how wet it gets. Yeah. Yeah. So this is we're not going to go deep into that cylinder because look at the line we'd be taking. We're going across right. all the damn lakes. We got to go deep. We'll go deep at the the northern edge at at, uh, at grassroots where it's a little less a uh, little less wet. I think Kilo Two's got a better line than we did. I fly too slowly, huh? But I can't resist climbing ahead a little bit. Uh, yeah, I mean, it looks like you, the arrival was below a thousand, now it's up to 1227, is that it? Um, For that sorry, cylinder? I don't know what you're looking at. A 26 mid, is that the turn, is that the cylinder, 26 mid? No, oh, the center of the, the uh, turn point is like way down there. Okay. Um, it's on the, uh, we should have it as an alternate on the 26 midway, yeah. Uh, 26 mid, yeah, I'm looking at 1,000, 1,100 arrival there. Is that what that's giving you, your arrival distance? Let's see that, if I can change the map orientation on my combo. Oh, touch screen sucks. I was like the the knob and um, 
on the B100, the knob and the two keys like a little mouse on a cable. That was always great for my left hand. Huh? It does. Don't need no stinking motor. I'm sorry? <laughs> you don't need no stinking motor. <laughs> you could go places in this. Well, if I didn't have the motor, I'd just have to put in water ballast. Yeah, that's true. And the motor's more useful than water ballast. Sometimes. Wilfred's pulling a little bit. I think he's got something over there. I've got sink over here. Big thing. The big airport over there is Lakeland, I believe. Uh, yeah, yeah. Wow, from big sink to some lift. I overflew it. Did Wilfred turn? I think he was going to, but I don't see him now. It's in the back of us. Wilfred, he 
it's almost right above us. I don't see him now behind his ball. But he was higher. I just don't want to. 3.7 knots. Problem on blue days, you see how much time we spent screwing around just trying to find the damn thermal. Yeah. With Wilfred, who I've flown for many, many decades, you know, we're not gonna run into each other. And uh, he's gonna, you know, he's gonna crank and bank so we can actually fly, but some of these guys, uh, they don't fly with much banking. We're not, we're not really banking that much, but we're back some more. 4,000 feet is starting to die. Both it says it's over here. Let's try straightening out a little bit. SN10 Magic Arrow, lower right? Yes. So we'll just line up on the wind and see if there's a uh, any kind of street here. Back of us and a little higher. I don't see anybody out ahead of us. What about to the right? There were some guys down there, but I don't see anybody. I'm looking now. Right. Still gaining on us. Look at the wind blowing across that lake. Yeah, I probably don't want to be downwind of that, huh? Oh well. Okay, let's turn. Let's turn. Wilfred, get next to me. Let's team fly a little bit. So you think I-4 is a trigger? We'll give it a shot. Hotel, dead ahead of us, three miles. I don't see him. He's probably headed to the door. Oh, maybe he's circling. He's doing something. Where are all the other gliders? 
I wish I was doing a better job of spotting them. No, I don't think so. There's a very good chance they went deeper into that first cylinder, but it just seemed like a really bad idea, so... circling to our left. Thermals coming off of <laughs> the buildings and the road. I don't know if it's good enough to circle in. I think Wilford decided to go deeper in the first cylinder. It's too bad. Of course, I'm going to get us low and be regretting that, right? Um, you know, if you find them, take them. They all just rolled out anyway. But they're higher. So, um, on the right, if you look down and see the big water tower, the red and white water tower, Tower down to our right? Uh, no. I can't see it from here. Oh, yes, yes. Okay, weeks. so there's, that's weeks. Yeah. This is the Polytechnical what is University. It? It's a university. I've wondered what that thing is. Yeah, that's a pretty famous building. It's the one of the state universities. It consists mainly I'm out of your way, sir, one building and some housing, but really neat building. So is I mean, is the building just like a huge number of classrooms, or? Um, I've never been there. I have to go visit. I'm, I'm actually may visit it tomorrow. Or I may visit it at Sun and Fun. During Sun and Fun. Oh, 
riders. I was hoping they'd pull ahead and find us a nice thermal. See one guy way out there in the distance. Get ahead of us high. One guy circling in front of us. So they're famous for a lift for some reason. Nothing losing altitude. coming from a thermal, but I missed where it was. Tough on these blue days, it really is.
line. Look at all the cows marching in line down there. What are they doing? All right, never mind. I should find a thermal and stop looking at cows. <laughs> Look for birds, not cows. They're high, usually higher up. I didn't go deeper into Gore, but we already were in the cylinder, and I'd like to have a big airport nearby. Mm -hmm. So this is tactically a bit silly, because I went that way and then this way. But right now, we're going to concentrate on getting out of Dodge. Okay. And there's a bird with us right there. And Bald the Eagle. Yep. Or is it Osprey? Uh, Osprey. Yeah, maybe Osprey. Look at all the crosses above, above us. Yes, we've started a, a gaggle. Yeah. My brothers, I call them. Let's take it up to 4,500. circle those guys can make compared to the circle that we can make. And we're doing four and a half knots. It's over yeah. by the eagle. He's higher wing loading. Or the osprey. No, it's an osprey. Sorry. Yeah. Look at that. You got the video? Pretty close. I hope so. Hello. Yeah. Hello. Um, that's why I'm hoping to get more of with that new camera. Just be able to look to the side as we go by them.
Let's tighten it up. Okay. See, his glider is, his glider is much lighter wing loading. He should be able to outclimb you easily, but he's not flying in the lift why we're continuing to outclimb them. Very tightened it up a little bit. There he's going better. See, he cranked it over and now he's climbing better. Yeah. 3.5 knots. Diminishing a little as we go up, but I think we'll take it on up. I can open the bed, sorry. Surprisingly good, 3.8. So let's crank it up to McCready two and a half. I, I'm not going to go to McCready three on a blue day because there's just too much possibility of getting low, and I really don't want to do that. We have such a limited altitude band, you know. Yeah. It's uh, 3:33. So we've got. Um, let's see. We've got an hour and. Ten, uh, you see this, the SN10 screen? Yeah. So we have an hour and 13 minutes remain, remaining to run. And estimated time to finish as it's currently programmed, which is McCready two and a half, uh, and the center of uh, the next two turns is uh, an hour and 30. So we're like 20 minutes over on the current current programming, which is probably about right. Hopefully we'll beat, beat the McCready speed. A little buoyant air here, see that guy pull up yeah. and turn. So we'll follow the line even if we don't turn with him. See? Pick up a little energy. That's good. I'm really piss him off by blowing through his thermal. See, we turn, we'll never ever climb like this, right? Gliders climb much, much better when they're going straight. Yeah. No extra stuff going on to turn the plane. Yeah. And we're, yeah. we're at the top of the hike bend anyway. So Horizontal. what are we going to be turning here for? we got to go. The only annoying thing is I was really hoping that guy would press on so we'd have some markers. Okay, 
Okay, so next turn is grassroots. What is all this amazing lift in the blue here? What's going on? They said it was going to get good till keep getting better until about five. And what time did you say it was? Three thirty. Three thirty-five now. There is somebody off to the right, about our altitude, about a, a mile and a half. Oh, I see somebody circling. Yeah. So they're following the 27 line, but since I already came over so far west um, to uh, to be next to uh, weeks before we climbed out, we're not going over there. This yeah. line here is pretty good too. Yeah. It's going up 33, and it's usually um, there's usually plenty of lift here, and there's plenty of places to land, so. If you follow that line, you get you get kind of close to all those lakes up there, and yeah, the, the quarries. And... guy if he starts doing okay. better we move over this that way if, if we're doing better we stay where we're going he's right going he's slowing going lower so I think we're doing pretty much the same right right now where's Seminole I want to be right on the nose not the easiest place to spot it's like right over there oh there it is a little bit to the right see it you look, there's a, keep going north, there's one big brown field going this way, and then just a little further to the north. A bunch of buildings and glider trailers, yeah, I see all this it now. white I stuff. See it. Yeah. That's Seminole. Calculator still says 250 at 8. Yep, that's exactly what we got dialed up. We almost got final glide to grassroots. I think he's not doing as good as we are. Look how much lower he is. Yeah, he's not doing as good. Good. It's 
the direction we were going and we're maintaining the altitude. Yeah, it'd be nice to get up 4,500 again. If we get a real thermal here, we'll take it. But it seems like the 4,500 are, yeah, they're just popping through. This is probably where the majority of the, you know, bubble, the big bubble is, the top of the big bubble. And that is uh, Wallaby Ranch below, I guess. Um, Hang the lighter place underneath it. It's off to the right now. Wallaby Ranch is like, no, it's it's more over here. Those see those all that complex of big giant warehouses down there. Uh, okay. It's more over there. Well, I see, saw. It's actually right there. Okay. There's a bunch of buildings there again. See a big field yep. with a bunch of buildings in the middle. That's yes. Wallaby. Okay. I saw a hang glider, so I. Or maybe it's it was an ultra light. Us, but I don't know if he's circling or not. Let's go. This isn't working. I don't see him. Right or right? Is that the ash? Yeah, right. You see him? Yep. I think it's the ash. I think it's Sean. Oh, he didn't continue circling. So we'll take the point there, but we won't we won't stop unless he does some amazing cranking and yanking. That's a pretty glider, huh? It's butter pig to fly. It's horrible. Really? What is it? An uh, AS-25? Mm -hmm. Very. It's, uh, the, it'll go good in a straight line, but boy, turning is really a chore. Well, I spend a lot of time turning, so that's important. Well, in that glider, you're not supposed to turn like... Mm -hmm. You know, in these things, when the, when the weather is decent, you really, you really shouldn't be turning too much. managed to fly us. We were in that nice lift line and now I've managed to find a sink line. Oh, buzzards. Yeah. We're doing cruise. But they were circling right over here somewhere, so we'll just... Carl always said, draw a straight line where they're coming from and go that way. So that, that would, you know, be like right in this area here. Right here, yeah. Maybe right here. sink anyway. At least I didn't pull up and sink for once, huh? <laughs> King Air, southeast bound over Seminole Lake at about 3,000. Well, that's okay, us. 3,000 Southwest bound. 3,800. I don't see. Now that's a glider.